Here is another view of the model. A number of structures have been removed, including the ventricles, the corpus callosum, and uh, with the septum pellucidum, and the hippocampus has been removed. And what we see here is the, here's the caudate nucleus on one side, highlighted in red. It's also on the other side, of course, but it's not highlighted in any way. The insula would be over here. It's not really visible from this perspective. This is part of the thalamus, and here's the other thalamus. And this is the lateral geniculate body. And right over here in the middle, this, one, this unpaired structure is the pineal gland. Here are the corpora quadrigemina. This is the tectum of the midbrain. So here you have the four bodies that comprise the corpora quadrigemina. These two on the top here are the superior colliculi. And these below here are the inferior colliculi. Here you can see the origin of the trochlear nerve, cranial, cranial nerve Roman numeral number four. Right over here, this is where you would find the cerebellum attached. So here you have the cut fibers that would be attaching the cerebellum to the metencephalon. Now, if we take a closer look, you can divide this attachment into three peduncles. Peduncles representing tracts of fibers where you have this attachment. Right over here, you have the inferior peduncle of the cerebellum. And right over here, this much you have a much larger middle peduncle. And then right over here, we have the superior peduncle. Right over here, because the cerebellum has been removed, we can look at the opened fourth ventricle, and we're looking at the floor of the fourth ventricle from this view.